ladies and gentlemen, please welcome President and CEO, Mazda Motor Corporation, Takashi Yamanuchi. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us today at the Mazda stand. It is always a pleasure to come to LA for the auto show. I had the honor last year of giving the keynote speech to open the show. That was a great honor. However, the huge challenges confronting our business at that time weighed heavily on my mind. A year has passed, and while there will be always be challenges, we have make, been making great strides in reforming our business structure. I stand before you today much more energized. After spending much of 2011 preparing for the introduction of our new and innovative Skyactiv technologies, 2012 got off to a quick start with the launch of the first of our new vehicles incorporating those breakthroughs. Quite simply, the CX-5 compact crossover has been a big hit in every market it is on sale. And the United States is no exception. In fact, last evening, uh, while I was out with our US team, I received the fantastic news from Japan. The CX-5 had won the prestigious Japan Car, Car of the Year Award for this year. <laughs> Thank, thanks to Skyactiv Technology, manufacturing innovations, and sales growth in many markets, Mazda was able to post positive results for the first half of this fiscal year, and we are on target to accomplish our year-end objectives. With this momentum, we are now preparing to launch our all-new Mazda 6 mid-size sedan, the second of our new generation products. Most automobile companies pour their heart and soul into the development of a mid-size car. Often, it becomes the beacon of their brand. The Mazda 6 is our flagship and embodies our best technologies and craftsmanship in a number of ways. First, it is the epitome of Kodo design, translating the beauty of the Takeri concept car into a stunning vehicle that customers will fall in love with at first sight. Second, it delivers the promise of exceptional drivability, thanks to our new Skyactiv technology. Third, it offers class-leading environmental performance without sacrificing driving enjoyment. And finally, the very latest technologies, including radar, lasers, and cameras, are incorporated into active safety features that enhance the driver's confidence and ability to control the vehicle. The new Mazda 6 will be introduced in the United States and Canada next January as a 2014 model, sporting our new 2.5-liter Skyactiv gasoline engine. We will not offer a V6 engine in the new Mazda 6, nor will we provide a turbocharged vehicle version. Rather, we have decided to offer our customers something different, something uniquely Mazda, and that is our Skyactiv diesel engine, which will be introduced in the second half of 2013. Looking ahead, I'm very confident that Mazda will further strengthen its business structure and enhance the Mazda brand around the world. And 
especially here in the United States. This will be accomplished through the vehicles we offer, vehicles ideally uh, suited to American customers, like the Mazda 3 Skyactiv, CX-5, Mazda 6, CX-9, for example. By the end of 2016, over 80% of our lineup will be Skyactiv technology vehicles. But growth will come, not just from new, exciting, and dynamic products. It will also come from innovations in our marketing strategies, from continuous support of our DERA network, as well as other brand enhancement measures. So, with that set up, let me now introduce the President and CEO of Mazda North American Operations, Jim O'Sullivan. Jim, please. Thank you, Yamanichi-san, and again, congratulations on Japan Car of the Year. That is a really terrific uh, news last night that we received, but builds upon the momentum of, obviously, the Skyactiv technology and Mazda products. Well, good morning, everyone, and I want to thank you very much for coming by today. Um, I know many of you had a very, very busy day yesterday in terms of here at the Los Angeles Auto Show, which you know opens up the North American Auto Show season, and there was a lot of really great product introduced yesterday. But obviously, we've got some good news here on the Mazda stand. Yamanuchi-san yeah, certainly delivered some exciting news about Mazda 6, about our powertrain offering, and where we're going into the future. But before I make a few more announcements, I'd like to give you a brief snapshot on what's going on here in the United States. Sales are up nearly 9% as we ride the wave of a recovering U.S. auto market. Our residual values, a very important health indicator, continues to be the best in the business, and our vehicles continue to appeal to young, stylish customers that every customer wants. And Consumer Reports recently ranked Mazda number four in new car reliability only behind Toyota, Lexus, and Scion. So when you think about it, Mazda really ranks number two as a car company in Consumer Reports reliability, another very strong health indicator. Every vehicle that we build is recommended by the publication, including the all-new CX-5, which is quite a feat for an all-new vehicle with all-new technology. Now, speaking of CX-5, since launch, our dealers, some of them here in the audience today, have been selling as many as they possibly can when they arrive at their dealerships. The car is being one of the fastest-moving vehicles in inventory and turn here in the U.S. CX-5s are literally being sold off the trucks. Now, this was certainly fueled by many of the very positive reviews that all of you have been writing about that vehicle. And I personally thank you very much. And I hope to see even more positive reviews on this vehicle. Now, I know it looks like the CX-5 that you all know, but it's my pleasure to announce today that we are offering and adding a 2.5 liter engine option on the 2014 Mazda CX-5, 2014 model CX-5, that will go on sale in January. So just a few short weeks away. Customers will be treated to the typical great design and handling, but we're gonna be offering 29 more horsepower and still returning 32 MPG on the highway. But CX-5 isn't our only crossover to receive an update this year. We introduced our flagship three-row, seven-passenger CX-9 in 2007. Since then, it sold more than 155,000 vehicles and has been named North American Truck of the Year, Motor Trend SUV of the Year, as well as receiving the ALG Residual Value Award for Best Full-Size Utility. You'll immediately notice the new front and rear design, both based on our new Kodo design direction, as you see here on Mazda 6. Inside, we've added a standard multi-information display featuring HD radio, Pandora radio, text message audio delivery and reply, and 911 automatic emergency notification. But these are just the highlights, and you'll find many more features and content 
once you've had a chance to spend a little bit more time with the vehicle. Now, many of you may remember that earlier this year, we told you that we would be racing our sky active clean diesel engine in the Grand Am GX class. I am pleased to announce that the car that we will be racing in the GX class will be in the all new Mazda 6. Here's a look. Our clean diesel engine in race trim will produce 400 horsepower and 450 pound feet of torque using more than this is an important stat, 60% stock components. 60% stock components for a racing engine. Now tests start next week and come January, just in a few short weeks, our Mazda 6 will be the first diesel powered race car to ever compete in the Rolex 24 at Daytona. At that time, we will be racing for our 24th class win in the premier endurance race here in the United States and our first ever with a diesel engine. Now we'll say more about this in the near future, but we're very proud of this because it continues our race what we sell philosophy to showcase our technology, our quality, our durability, and our reliability. Now before I invite Yamanuchi-san to come join me on stage, I'd like to also recognize an individual who all of you know, and I'm sure that many of you have worked with over the last 40 years. Jay Amistoy has been very instrumental, and many of you know him as a friend, in leading Mazda's PR government affairs and motorsports efforts for nearly 22 years now. During his tenure, he has not only become a trusted advisor to me, but also a very good friend. Now, Jay has decided to kind of shift gears slightly and retire from his full-time duties at the end of this year. But, sorry Jay, you're not getting rid of us that easily. Come on up here, Jay. Come on. In fact, in fact, we're quite pleased that Jay is going to continue. <laughs> Jay will continue with us in an advisory role starting next year, primarily working on the motorsports strategy, which as you all know, is a lot of great news. So Jay, I want to congratulate you on behalf of the entire Mazda management team and the Mazda organization and Dieter body. A lot of your good friends and your press colleagues are out here in the audience. I want to thank you for an outstanding career and working with you on your next chapter. I'll still so, be bugging all of you, so uh, not going too far away, but thank you. So, so thank you very much. Thank you. So great news today. Yamanuchi-san yeah, would like to ask you to please come on up. Opportunity. Stay here, Jay. And uh, come on up, take a look at the great cars, enjoy the rest of the show, and uh, all of you have a wonderful holiday season. Thank you very much.